Hi, today we're going to talk about combat and GURPS. So uh, everything I will talk here will be in this uh, volume. This is a GURPS basic set, uh, volume 2. This is a uh, subtitle campaign. And uh, I will talk about how to do combat. Maybe we'll do a, a, a series with this. But uh, today I'm going to talk about just uh, about initiative, combat turn, uh, active characters, and just how to start uh, an actual combat. So uh, I don't have much to, uh, to cover because uh, the rules for initiative in GURPS are pretty easy. So uh, I'm going into um, page uh, 362. Uh, this is where they talk about, and you won't find the, the word initiative in GURPS, you, you will find the word uh, turn sequence, active characters, and uh, such. So uh, in GURPS, uh, the combat turn, um, this the, the, the word turn refers to when it's your turn or a player's turn. <coughs> So everything is done in turn, uh, rather than a round or a, or a segment or something like that. It's it's just a turn uh, for it's a it's a gaming term that talk about players and every turn is is done in a one second unit. So uh, for most of games out there, one second is pretty short. The D20 system have uh, six seconds around. Um, storyteller system have approximately six to ten second round, but it's it's defined as uh, just a unit of time, a stretchable unit of time. So in GURPS, it's pretty much uh, boiled down to one second. So it's very, uh, it's a very quick space, a short amount of time where you can do stuff. But of course, the GM is uh, in control of this uh, this second. It's just a way to break down what you are going to do in, in combat. So you don't have to uh, to be uh, bugged down by this short amount of time. Of course, in, in GURPS, when you do combat, if you want to do an attack, um, most of the times you will do, do just one, one step and do your attack. So it's not like in Pathfinder where you can do a full move and then your attack. You can do this in GURPS, but you, you will have uh, a huge penalty on your attack. Uh, mainly a, lar a large penalty or a minimum of nine on your skill so uh, so you just you, you can charge it to combat but realistically in one second you, you will rather keep your balance and do one step towards your opponent and do your your attack but back to uh, to ca combat turn sequence so um, to do a proper GURPS combat, of course you can do a combat turn after turn after turn, second by the second by second, and, and usually that will mean that a combat will last. If if your combat lasts ten turns, you you have a pretty much intense combat. But um, when I was a beginning game master, uh, a beginner. I did my combat like that, like a series of, of, of turns and until someone died or events st st stopped the combat. Uh, it's not a wrong way of doing it, but they will suggest even in the book that you should maybe uh, try to do short bursts of combat. For example, uh, three rounds of combat, then uh, some contest of uh, climbing and decks to, to run on the roof, then maybe a contest of perception versus stealth, 
is if the one of the the combatant trying to hide uh, then maybe another small small amount of combat maybe one round two round and then another if you want to do an action sequence you can uh, you can do this short amount of combat uh, intertwined with uh, physical physical stuff physical action so uh, it work really well to create a cinematic sequence where not every blow count and um, if, if you miss a gunshot for example and the the bullet just hit past the uh, your enemy's head and then the GM start to describe okay now he's a uh, climbing down a, a ladder and you, you, you have to you have to uh, take out your your gun to to do the same to run after him you cannot if you if you are aiming down at the guy you will have one chance otherwise he will escape would you rather run after the guy so maybe your character decide okay I, I must question this guy so I cannot shoot him so if he's responsible, he will uh, take out his weapon. And so, in this type of combat, you will see a more dynamic, more organic uh, combat. That is not always about hitting some something. You can um, you can do a whole chase. Uh, of uh, running, running skill contest, and then when one catches the the other, you can do uh, several round of uh, brawling, and then uh, I don't know one of the if during the the combat some something happened and one of the, the character go away and jump into a car, and then oh my god, then you proceed to a, a quick contest of driving maybe or uh, something like that. So. It's more dynamic. It's it's maybe it's not the the right way to do it, but after several uh, several decades of experience with this system, uh, if you want to create lively char character combat or interaction, uh, I would recommend that you would do these little short bursts of action. And, and as a GM, you're in control. Uh, about when you call for a skill roll, so if things are uh, going in, uh, going stale, if the the character just start hitting one on a, one on a, another without consequences, and you feel it's going to be a little bit boring, uh, just stop the combat and make something else happen. Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe the combat just stop altogether, and the two parties are reloading their weapons, or maybe uh, maybe there's an explosion that and everyone is stunned and something else happening. So um, and don't get bogged down or too about the one second thing. So basically, it's just a, a way to break down what your character can do very quickly. Uh, but you can add flair to it uh, as long as you don't use a map uh, it doesn't matter if uh, one character is doing five yards as a step or two yards uh, it's just to uh, adjust to your level of reality in your game so you have in the, in the combat uh, active character and inactive character so uh, if uh, if half of your party is not involved in the combat, maybe there's a cleric praying to his god, maybe there is a kid hiding somewhere, this character count as inactive character and you don't have to bother about them. So they're not involved into the, the fight, they're just like environment. But they are there if there is an explosion or a flood or flames or anything they will be there to receive damage or will have to deal with it they will not be in the combat turn sequence 
firstly. Um, until something happened to change that, of course. So it's a good idea uh, when you're running a, a GURPS combat to have a sequence chart. Um, the fastest character goes first in, into GURPS. Uh, in the old edition, you had the, the option of rolling a dice and just uh, go from there. The favorite option is uh, the fastest goes first. So um, uh, in GURPS, the, uh, the speed at which you decide who goes first, and I will use my, <laughs> I have a Fallout character sheet here, but you have a basic speed uh, stats. The basic speed stats is uh, your dexterity plus your health divided by four, and you keep the decimals. So uh, if you have 10 and 10, that will give you a 5. But if you have like an 11 and a 10, that will give you a 5.25. And this little decimal here will tell you that you will act just a little bit before the guy at 5. So uh, it's a good idea to have the basic speed of all the characters involved into the combat. And uh, just do a little chart with the you uh, you write the name of uh, the, the first the fastest character up and you go uh, you go down the list. If you have two characters that are tied together with the same uh, same speed, uh, the GM can decide who goes first. In a cinematic game, uh, the heroes could be could go before the minions. If the <coughs> if the PCs are uh, fighting some some mastermind uh, you could you could leave the speed uh, as is you could roll a dice or you could uh, check out for dexterity the higher dexterity could go first or or if two guys are tied and one guy will have the uh, combat reflexes advantage maybe give him a little bonus there so uh, that's it. Uh, I talked maybe uh, too long for this topic. Uh, it's very simple. The fastest goes first. Uh, short burst of combat intertwined with physical stuff. So that's how you start a combat in GURPS. And uh, there is uh, several ways to adjust this. Uh, the, what I just talked about. Uh, there is ways to adjust this for your genre, for your campaign style, or your play style. If you do a combat on a grid, you can do... Uh, okay guys, we will do uh, one die worth of uh, combat, then we'll have 30 seconds of physical stuff, and then another dice of combat, uh, two dice of combat. So, uh, thank you, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget that GURPS is a, is a toolkit and you, you have to, to make choices to use it uh, for your own taste. See ya!